So let's create a system interface and a DHCP server using the command line. The following is part of the basic firewall training. We will set up an interface and a DHCP server. Let's do it on port 4. We will do it using the command line. So let's just use the config system interface. All right, let's edit port 4. Let's just make it port 4. Let's set the IP to 10.0.7.1 slash 24. And let's set the um, allow access, the management protocol access to uh, ping, HTTP, HTTPS. Uh, we can also set the weight for that interface. Let's just um, give it a weight of 250 we can we can set different settings for that interface but we will end with that 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 will be our local area network interface for our finance department now the second thing that we can do is to actually config a dhcp server on that interface so config system dhcp server Let's edit that server. Let's uh, create an entry, a new entry. And let's set the default gateway for that uh, DHCP server to the 10.0.7.1. And let's also set the interface. We're creating that on the port 4 interface. Now let's config the IP range, the uh, pool of IP addresses that it will list for the clients that connect through that interface and for that we will use the config IP range and let's also use uh, edit one and let's set the uh, start IP at the 10.0.7.2 and let's set the um, end IP to 10.0.7.11 all right, next, and, and let's set the uh, net mask to 255 or 255 or 255.0, that's less 24. And let's set the DNS service to default. All right, now let's end it. And let's just refresh our page. Remember port four, let's refresh it. There it is. And here we can see that we have our LAN at port four. That's our finance LAN. That's the IP of the LAN gateway. That's the administrative access. And here's our DHCP server that starts with the 10.0.7.2 up to 10.07.11. And the DNS server is the same as the system DNS.